So my name's Charlie, I am a sprayer specialist for Ray Valley Tractors based in the Precision Farming Department for Ray Valley. Um, we're just out in field this morning um, looking at this M740i spray which was recently sold to a customer. Um, this machine is 4,000 litres, 24 metre boom, but the M range consists of an M732 which is 3,200 litres an M724 which is 2,400 litres and they go up to booms of 30 metres wide. All the isobus uh, integrated into the tractor itself and uh, when we get in the cab later on we'll talk a bit more about that. Uh, working the way back to the front of the sprayer it's equipped with a 280 litre hydraulic piston diaphragm pump. You can also spack it with a PTO shaft but uh, hydraulic seems to be the future and a bit, uh, a bit more safer than the PTO guard. Um, again, it has outputs of 280 litres a minute. Moving back to the machine, you come across two sets of valves, one pressure, one suction. Very easy to work out. Um, stickers have been made just for ease for the operator. Basically, um, your suction filter determines where the water is coming from and your pressure tells it where it's going. Easy as that. Uh, as we move up to the tank, it's a 4,000 litre polyurethane tank which is seamless on the inside, which it gives you a bit of um, peace of mind knowing when you're washing out, there are no flat spots or seams where dangerous chemicals could be sitting, which might not be get washed out. Um, we've also got a switch here, which has got auto. This will also pause the intake of water when you're incorporating chemicals into your induction hopper. Quite a nice feature on some sprayer applications. You've got a lot of chemicals to get in in a very short space of time. So it's quite a nice feature just to press pause, pause the intake of water, get your chemical in, back to auto, it'll then stop at the desired rate that you've typed into the screen to turn the tank off at. Uh, the induction hopper, again, made of polyurethane, completely seamless, very nice finish on the inside, very easy to wash out, 55 litre, plenty big enough to get all your chemicals in. You've also got your cam wash there and a rinse cycle to rinse around all around the outside of the hopper itself. Above it is a clothing locker, if you wish to use it for clothing or not, bit of storage, whatever you need to use really, whatever you need to, um, need to store. <sighs> this machine is also fitted with John Deere's boom levelling system, train control pro. One sensor here, one sensor on the other side. Um, this system will basically control the boom when you're spraying and when you're out of spraying. So if it notices uh, ground conditions have changed, crops changed, it'll, it'll, it'll um, alter how it needs to. Also, when you're coming into the headland and it senses section control from the headland from what we've already sprayed, it'll automatically lift up and control the movement of the boom whilst you're turning and drop down when it needs to, coming back into the field. These spray booms are renowned for their uh, stability thanks to the, uh, the Z-Bar parallelogram system. So uh, it also works in conjunction with where the main frame is pivoted on the back. Um, with the main frame control also working with the, uh, the John Deere boom levelling system, with the three options you can choose, uh, hybrid, crop or soil, it gives you perfect boom height at whatever chosen height. So as we were saying earlier, as we are walking around the machine, it's fully isobus integrated. So this machine is working through the, uh, the Gem 4 4600 command center, along with the extended monitor where we've got the mapping. Um, we can also program buttons off the sprayer joystick itself onto the Command Pro joystick for ease of use uh, if the operator wishes to do so. As you can also see, my target rate is 120 litres a hectare. I'm travelling 12k and I've got 3.1 bar of pressure coming out those nozzles. I'm using this joystick at the moment for all the boom functions, so the steering, uh, lifting of the boom, the tilt left and right and turning sections on and off, but you can actually, um, you can actually program the buttons on the, uh, on the Command Pro to actually work the sprayer. So if you were chopping and changing the sprayer between tractors, you could leave this, this joystick on a, uh, on a tractor that's not perhaps got an ISO Hawks end joystick, um, and then leave this joystick and this one combined just to work the sprayer without actually having to use this, which is quite a nice feature. That noise there is 
Tommy access and the RDA, which is remote display access. So every time you see a red boundary come around the outside of the command centre, that means someone's watching you. Um, they can't actually change any settings from what they're watching on, but they can advise you to change any settings which um, which one of us, such as your farming team, might think want changing, or if you're having difficulties, you can bring us up so we can access your screen. Um, it's quite a nice little feature just to help any troubleshooting issues. The section control is turning on when it needs to. It knows exactly the positioning of the boom and exactly where it has sprayed previously, so the sections turn on when they need to. And because this is driven by, well, steered by RVT RTK, we're down to two centimetres accuracy. So the risk of any overlap or misses is minimal. So as I'm reaching the headland again, I'm slowing my uh, ground speed down, waiting for the beep for all the sections to turn off. Boom lifts up on its own. The steering drawbar works on its own. Turn into the next tram line, auto resume switch on. Booms drop down, back to your desired 12k for your three bar and away you go again. So I hope you've learned a bit about uh, our M700 series sprays and the features that, uh, that it has to offer. If you'd like any more information or like to have a demo of the machine, please get in touch. Cheers.